Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing great. I'm Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In today's video, we are going to learn the steps on how to configure tenant-wide user settings in Microsoft Entra ID. Default permissions are granted to all users in Microsoft Entra ID. A user's access consists of the type of user, their role assignments, and their ownership of individual objects. The default user permissions can be changed only in user settings in Microsoft Entra ID. By default, standard users can register applications, manage their own profile photo and mobile phone number, change their own password, and invite B2B guest users. These users can also read all directory information with a few exceptions. While guest users have restricted directory permissions, they can manage their own profile, manage their own password, and retrieve some information about other users, groups, and applications. However, they can't read all directory information. For example, guest users can't enumerate the list of all users, groups, and other directory objects. If you want, you can assign administrative rules to grant them required permissions. It is also possible to add restrictions to users' default permissions. You can use this feature if you don't want all users in the directory to have access to the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. So let's see the steps to modify the default user settings permissions in Microsoft Entra ID. To do this, we need to access and log in to the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. You can access Microsoft Entra Admin Center using the URL entra.microsoft.com. For this video, we have used the Global Administrator account to log into the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. Now expand Users and click on User Settings. First, let's talk about the App Registration Permission, which by default is set to Yes. If you set this option to No, that will prevent all users from creating application registrations but you can grant the ability back to specific individuals by adding them to the application developer role. We don't want that all the users have the app registration permissions. So I'm going to set this permission to no. Now set up restrict non-admin users from creating tenants settings as required. If you set this value to yes, it restricts the creation of Microsoft Entra ID tenants to the global administrator or tenant creator roles. No allows non-admin users to create Microsoft Entra ID tenants. Anyone who creates a tenant will become the global administrator for that tenant. We don't want that users can create a new tenant, so I'm going to set this permission to yes. Remember, to create a new workforce tenant in Microsoft Entra ID, you need active subscription. Setting Create Security Groups option to no prevents users from creating security groups. If you don't want that all the users from your tenant can create security group, set the option to No. In our example, already this setting is set to No. This means Microsoft Entra ID users are not able to create their own security groups. Those assigned at least the user administrator role can still create security groups in Microsoft Entra ID tenant. Guest user access section allows you to restrict what external guest users can see in our Microsoft Entra ID organization. Guest users are set to a limited permission level by default in Microsoft Entra ID, while the default for member users is the full set of user permissions. The first option grants the guest users the same access permissions to Microsoft Entra resources as member users. The second option, which is selected by default, allows guest users to view the membership of all non-hidden groups. If you want to prevent guest users from seeing the membership of any groups, select the last option. Under Administration Center, we have setting named Restrict Access to Microsoft Entra Admin Center. This setting is used to restrict non-administrators from accessing the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. I have already created a dedicated video on it. You can find the video link in the description section. Remember, this is not the security measure. Users with access to Microsoft Graph or PowerShell can still access the Microsoft Entra ID organization information. The next permission is to allow users to connect work or school account with LinkedIn. 
Setting this option to no prevents users from connecting their work or school account with the LinkedIn profile. You can grant this permission to a specific group of people by choosing the selected group option. If you choose selected group, then click on this edit button and select the group from your Microsoft Entra IT organization to whom you want to assign the permission. I'm going to close this. We will leave it set to the default option of yes. This setting gives users the option to remain signed in until they explicitly sign out. This doesn't change Microsoft Entra ID session lifetime but allows the sessions to remain active when users close and reopen their web browser. You can set this to no to hide this option from your users. A Microsoft Entra ID P1 or P2 license is required to configure this setting. Then you can see there are two links below that. But in this video, I'm not going to cover them. I'll make a separate video for that. After modifying the default user settings to meet your requirements, click save to apply the changes. Wait for the confirmation pop-up message to appear. That's it for today's video on how to configure tenant-wide default user settings in Microsoft Entra ID. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or need further clarification on any of these steps, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Entra ID and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.